Hey everyone, in today's video let's set up jump buffering in the Godot 4 game engine. Before we dive into the code, let's understand visually how jump buffering actually works. Keep an eye on the left side to see the all the pressed keys. Here if I press any key it shows up here. I'll press the space key and it shows here. Now notice when, what happens when I press the space key now. We will jump and just before we land I press the jump key. That means uh, now a jump we owe a jump. That means that sooner or later we need the game will need to perform a jump for you, us. For that we we'll set a jump to buffer. That means we have paused a jump. To determine in how much time should we reach the ground if we want the buffered jump back. We'll start a timer. If the timer hasn't hit zero and we have reached the floor, then we'll get our jump back. Notice what happens here when we release the key. We get our jump back because the timer was still more than zero. Now that you have understand how it actually works, it will be easier for you to understand the code. So without further ado, let's dive into the code part of this jump buffering. We extend from character body to D. Then we set up the speed variable for movement, the jump velocity variable for jump height, and the jump buffer timer. Next, here we have the jump buffered and the jump timer. We initialize the jump timer here. This is movement code that you don't need to worry about. This is the main script for jump buffering. First of all, we check if the space key or the accept key is being pressed. Then if it is, we will check for if we are on floor. And if we are on floor, we will jump. The perform jump is just applying vertical velocities. Then we'll check else. Uh, jump buffer is true. We'll set the jump buffer timer equal to the buffer time. Then we'll check if our jump is buffered. If it is, we'll minus delta from the jump timer, meaning start the timer. And if the jump buffer timer is equal to zero, we'll just set the jump buffer equal false. Then we'll check if our jump is buffered and we are on floor. If we are, we'll perform a jump and we'll set the jump buffered equal false. And this is just setting velocity calling move and slide and just the perform jump logic so it doesn't matter at all as you can see the jump buffering is now perfectly working if you want more of this content you can comment down in the description and i'll definitely try to make more of these guys so if you want to support my work you can support me on patreon Patreon is also the place where you can get the project files for this pro for this video. So that's it for today's video. Till then, goodbye.